Okay, I decided I'd finish this on camera, just on the basis. Of I've only got a tiny bit to go, and the reason I stopped before was I was running out of time. I've only got 10 minutes per video, and then if it goes beyond that, YouTube won't let me upload them. So I'm just sort of eyeballing this, as opposed to actually, you know, physically checking each one because it takes me so little time just to draw another line that, you know, it's not worth me going and checking and finding the perfect point. there and we don't need it past that point so now if you look you'll see that slowly the end of the S is being revealed now all we need to do is simply set up our mask. Now I'm going to get rid of these guys. Actually, I'm just going to hide them. But you probably want to get rid of them. You don't need them anymore. And I'm going to press Shift 11 to turn off uh, while selecting Tip Mask Layer to turn off our control points because we don't need to see those anymore. And because I'm using just standard animate this time, I'm just going to go down here and add our mask. If you're using Pro version, you want to you'll have to do this in the network view. The mask is here. So now I'm going to add a letter to the mask, a tip mask to the mask layer, their background also to the mask layer. And now you can see it draws and that's as simple as that in if you're using animate pro you're going to want to draw, make both of these layers into a composite before putting it into your cutter tool which is the same as the mask you can also go into your mask here and invert it so you get the opposite effect so you get the erasing the letter instead and that's really you know your, your whole effect you can add things just like you could um, as you're doing this as it's coming around you could add some sort of sparks or you could make this more pointed so that it looks like it's burrowing in but hopefully you get the idea of what this is meant to be like so we'll just have a quick look at this And this is the effect. Hope you like this tutorial and I'll be back with more soon.